try one more example of a problem that suggests the integral test. Here we have the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared plus 1. So we would set up f of x equals 1 over x squared plus 1. Now there's three conditions that we need to check. Continuous, positive, and decreasing. Um, the continuous is pretty clear. The positive is also pretty clear. No matter what x you plug in there, that's going to be positive. The decreasing, you should work out f prime of x and check that it's negative. I'm not going to work it out here, but it does turn out to be negative. So it's OK to use the integral test. So let's look at the integral from x equals 1 to x going to infinity of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. Now, there are several ways to do that integral. You could do it with a trig substitution. You would use x equals tangent theta. You could look it up in the table of integrals in the back of your calculus book. Um, probably for this integral, it's one you're going to see often enough that it's good to have the answer memorized. And the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 is arctan of x. So that's one that if you haven't memorized it yet, you'll probably see it often enough as you're doing calculus that it's worthwhile to memorize it. And then we want to, we want to evaluate that from x equals 1 to a value that is going to infinity. So this is arctan of a number going to infinity minus arctan of 1. Now remember what the arctangent function does. It's the inverse of the tangent function. There's the tangent function with asymptotes at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So that's tan x. Arc tan x says you flip that, and so you get these horizontal asymptotes at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So that's arc tan x. So when x goes to infinity, arc tan x approaches pi over 2. The limit there is pi over 2. The arctangent of 1, well, you think, what angle has tangent 1? And if you remember your common values, that's pi over 4. So this integral, this improper integral, converges to pi over 4. What that tells us is that the series, 1 over n squared plus 1, converges by the integral test what it does not tell us is what it converges to remember the integral test doesn't tell you that so I'll remind you that we don't know from anything we've learned so far what that integral, what that series converges to. Even though the integral came out to be pi over 4, that doesn't tell you anything about what the series converges to. All we can say from the integral test is that the series converges. So to recap there, we were given a function, uh, a series, we convert it into a function. We check whether it's continuous, positive, and decreasing. Decreasing is the challenging part. We got to check that its derivative is negative. Once we verify those, we do the integral. We find that the answer turns out to be a finite limit. It doesn't turn out to be infinity. And that allows us to conclude that the series converges by the integral test, but we don't know exactly what the series converges to. So this has been educator.com.